So I was a child prodigy in climbing, but when I was 17, uh, I was out with my climbing partner at the time, and we, our intent was to climb Mount Washington up Huntington's Ravine, about an 800-foot ice wall. And we became disoriented near the summit, and what we intended to be a single day turned into nearly four days. We both suffered severe hypothermia and frostbite. Um, for my case, uh, after months of effort, my medical team gave it the fight and both of my legs had to be amputated below the knee. When I was first fit with prostheses uh, after my limbs were amputated, about two months after the amputation surgery, I was just shocked at how crude and unsophisticated they were. Basically, sticks. I just said to myself, you're kidding me, this cannot be all that, that it exists. But it was true. So at that point I began going to the machine shop and imagining and fabricating novel prostheses. I believe in the near future, in a, in a decade or two, when you walk down the streets of Boston, you'll routinely see people wearing bionic systems. Um, systems that reduce the stress throughout their body when they run or enable them to jump higher, run faster. The mission of my group here at MIT is to expand human capability, expand expression uh, through the use of novel technology. Today I'm actually able to stand and walk and run using bionics and bionic limbs that I invented. So each prosthesis has very small computers the size of, of a fingernail. 12 sensors and muscle tendon-like actuators. The computers take in sensory information and then running an algorithm, the, com the computers control motors um, that enable me to stand, walk, and run. But we also build bionics for human augmentation. I've always had the dream of, of inventing exoskeletal structures that would, would enable anyone to walk with less energy, run with less energy, uh, move faster with complete ease. But no one succeeded until, uh, until recently. research group here at MIT, we were the first to advance an exoskeleton, a bunch of electromechanics that you attach to your legs that actually augments walking. What it does is it reduces the amount of metabolic cost or food energy required to walk. What it feels like is when you're at the airport and you hit the moving walkway and you just take off, um, that's what it feels like all the time when you're wearing these exoskeletal boots. There's so many applications, of course military and recreation, uh, hiking. There are challenges, um, ethical issues that society will have to face uh, as we march into this century. But I feel that we can simultaneously end disability in this century and all this profound human suffering be caused by disability through bionics.